This video will be on news in early August. Talisar reported that seven people were injured in a drone attack on President Nicolas Maduro during a military parade in Caracas. Nicolas Maduro addressed Venezuelans after the assassination attempt. Newsweek reported that Philadelphia's Supreme Court identified over 300 pedophile priests in six Catholic dioceses in Pennsylvania. Ed reported that ambassador to Syria, Ki Kian Jin, suggested that the Chinese People's Liberation Army could help the Syrian Arab Army to retake Syrian territory. The Middle East Monitor reported that conservative pro-Israel think tank Middle East Forum funded Tommy Robinson's legal expenses and they funded pro-Tommy Robinson protests. The Gateway Pundit reported that Barack Obama fully supports seizing white farms without compensation in South Africa. The Palestine Chronicle reported that Israel bulldozed the village of Ras al Amar's water pipeline. That is savage. Mint Press News reported that Netanyahu stated that Israel is ready to assist Saudi Arabia on the war against Yemen and the Israelis have already assisted Saudi Arabia's war against Yemen. USA Today reported that Manish Kumar Patel was convicted in Wisconsin for spiking his pregnant girlfriend with an abortifacient, thus killing their baby. And disgusting murderers like that should be put in corrective labour in my opinion.